Okay, so another episode of Skates and Coffee. Finally, Jorma is here again. Um, it only took you a year or more <laughs> to come back. <laughs> it's a long way from it's Germany. It's a long way from Germany. So um, we have our coffee and we have actually, these are a gift from uh, Rich. So thank you, Rich from Texas. But first, so, coffee. Cheers. Drink some coffee. So, um, yeah, today is a special episode, I would say, because the skate we're going to talk about has been in the works for quite a long time. That doesn't mean it's like a very different type of skate, but it has a different soul into the skate. Um, so, yeah. I kind of just want to say where it all started for yes, the, the people please. that don't know. Yeah. So me and Jorma have been friends for quite a long time. Um, first, you were a customer, very excited customer. And you came to us. The first thing I remember was you coming to the trade show, like the, the booth at Winter Clash. Right. Yeah. And uh, you stood out. And then like, I think we had like sort of a similar energy going on. Um, which at first was more in, into the fully into the skating that later evolved, I would say, into cars uh, having similar, let's say, passion about right. cars and, and ideas about cars, yeah. um, even motorbikes. And that led to us doing these yearly weekends sort of together uh, where we would do coffee skating and cars uh, or bikes and we would just visit shops and whatever yeah. and one of those visits in hamburg you took me to the prototype prototype <laughs> museum right and uh it was raining it was a perfect thing to do yeah. uh, go to the museum and when we were when we were strolling in the museum um, one car particularly like took my attention and I think at that similar time we had the same feeling so it was a prototype a Formula One Toyota uh, car uh, with a V10 engine in it and it was as raw as it could be so it had no paint on it right. um, it was all bare carbon you could even see the the where the carbon wasn't perfect and the molds, yeah. they would fill it up with filler yeah, to make filler. it look sleek. Um, you had um, parts that were Kevlar exposed. Um, everything was just, you had the titanium printed and we're talking about a car of 10 years ago. Um, and there was titanium already printed in, the, in, in some of the parts. Mm. Um, and it left such a, an impression that I think we said it at the moment. We said like, why not make a skate that is like fully yeah. into like this race mode? Um, yeah, and that was the plan I think for a, a while <clears throat> that was that we were gonna build a skate for us. Yeah. Um, that was, it didn't have a name yet um, at that point. It's nice that you say we build it. I think we did. Um, and actually on that point, I want to say like there's the skate that you will see uh, soon um, is uh, Jorma hasn't seen it. I uh, really haven't seen it. There are three pairs made. So it is me, it is you, and it is one of my other good friends that I only met once. Um, but you know, sometimes there is a connection and you see that some people, they fully understand what you're doing or trying to do. And one of those uh, customers or friends to me is, is Rich. And Rich has the SPX, which if you haven't seen that video, you should check it out because it is the most crazy skate <laughs> I ever made uh, up to this point, I would say. Um, not in feel wise only. Uh, it's very like it's a very dear skate to me. And um, that, yeah, that went all out. Um, but then again, Rich, we met up. He wanted to, again, have another project. And um, I told him, like, let's do this with the three of us. And yeah. you, you can get in. 
and we make three pairs only of this skate. Now, the rough side of the skate was that um, if we would have done the unfinished carbon and whatever, that was a bit the difficult part for me. I didn't know where, um, how it should be. Should we really l make it look unpainted or whatever? And at one point I decided not to do this, um, but give it the feel and the vibe of that car that we saw at the prototype yeah. museum. Um, so yeah, in the end I ended up, I, everything has to look nice. So um, I ended up doing it like very special, but the vibe of the skate is for sure 100% that car. Um, and it kind of slots into the livery edition that we're doing this year. So the livery editions in short are five pairs that are um, yeah, taken from basically inspiration from race cars um, and Le Mans winning or Formula One. They've all been sold to special customers. And uh, this one is a one-off uh, for Olga. It's inspired by MotoGP. And then we have three livery editions that are our special skates. And uh, these are just inspired on that one prototype. And let's say, even if like you never met Rich, but there's like a three friendship going on, sort of in, let's say the vibe, you know? Yeah. Um, so without further ado, uh, this is the first time you're gonna see the skate. So um, yeah, I wanna present to you the FXX, which is, uh, it's not a prototype, but it's a prototype edition. So awesome. here goes. Oh my God. Okay. This is for you. It's a bit on the heavy <laughs> side, but that is the box. <laughs> it is, uh, That's yeah. Crazy. That's in the end also an idea where I, I think we had some talks about. We had talks about the weapon how a needs box, to be in yeah. the proper. Yeah. So nobody gets hurt. So this is an, a case made for um, guns, for armory. And the idea is that it's like this, it's like it's a special tool that you have. It is the way it, it, that a Superleggera is, it's like, it's like a precise rifle, you know? Yeah. And on top, is a, a flex fiber, so it's a natural uh, fiber, it's a UD flex, and this is actually what makes the skid plates on uh, Formula One cars. Okay. So the, mostly you see the, the sparks, and that's magnesium inserts inside the skid plates for show. So the sparks, in the, back in the olden days, yeah. you had sparks, that was literally the car touching it, but now uh, they did it with magnesium, so that gives sparks but the actual plates are made out of this material. So yeah, I would say it, it, it's part of the skate. So let's put it on the ground and uh, open it up. It's, it has four latches. Okay. So two on the side, two on the front. That's solid. It is very solid, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's, let's see. Let's see. The FXX Superleggera prototype. Okay. Let's make it like this. You yeah. Can see it. Well, well, the, the customer will, the viewer will get to see yeah. everything. We will, we will get nice pictures. Yeah. From. Okay. First of all, <laughs> you haven't seen it. <laughs> I almost saw it. You almost saw it. Okay. I think I need to open this. Yeah. First. You need to open this first. So this okay. is the introduction. Uh, this is what you get with all Superleggera. So we're yeah. not going to get it into this one. But there is something uh, inside. Yeah. So it's the uh, heat molding instructions. Um, yeah. And the congrats. Yeah. And these um, bags are different than the normal Superleggeras. They're only for the livery editions. So livery edition okay. get a, a different uh, feel. Yeah, that's awesome. Also this is actually used in uh, prototype uh, cars, yeah. actually. Okay. That's for, uh, yeah. uh, for the sound, yeah. Okay. Should I take it everything out? Like yeah, I'll sure. Try to get it out. Yeah. So, okay. With every uh, livery edition, so including the FXX, you get the booklet. And uh, the pieces. Yeah, where all the yeah, it's hand like. Also with the yeah, so it states your the number of your skate and the service history. 
Yep. No service yet, because no. it's new. It right. needs uh, a weekly service. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so I will be here more often in the future. Yes. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah, not, not that good news for Rich, because he's coming from Texas. But yeah, it's a cost you have to pay, you know. <laughs> That's part of the... <laughs> yeah. So you get, with every Superleggera, you get a Polaroid taken by me. Uh, I don't put a lot of, like, effort into it. It's as they are when they're finished, take a picture. And that's, I sign it basically with uh, the code on it. And that's more like what the moment. It is in the moment. Yeah, the yeah. Moment yeah. First ones I was stressing to out life. too much. And then I was like, no, this is how it is. So, yeah. Awesome. Like that. Yeah. And it already looks like with the Polaroid, like from the 70s. So I'm yeah, yeah. I, I want to get that like feel in, of in like... 20 years. Yeah. Even better. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Some stickers. stickers. Maybe on the outside of that. Oh. Let's see. And yeah. I think this is also something special. Oh, wow. So you get a special um, piece of art with the skate. And it's uh, fully made by Kuhn, uh, who did all the livery editions, um, worked together with me on the ideas, wow. and then made it into the like artworks. And it's the idea is that you can put it on your desk or whenever you're working, it gives a, it gives a something special it is to, crazy. to this gate, right? It is crazy. And it is the car it, it in the back. It is the car. It is the car. In yeah. the end, if you, I haven't seen this yeah. gate yet, yeah. but now it's I see the a car from the prototype museum. This gate, and I see it, yeah. that's the first time I see both yeah. on one yeah. Yeah. glimpse. Yeah. And it is crazy because it is. Yeah. It really is the car. And it's the vibe of the car yeah. that you can capture in this picture. Crazy. Cool. So I would say I'm going to hand you over. Right. That gets gate. a special place. Like, let's see where this could be. That's the certificate. And this one, one of three is for you. You can explore it a bit. A lot of work went into it. Too much. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Yeah. It is even lighter. It is. Yeah, yeah, it is lighter than a normal Superleggera. So the bottom. So I'm uh, currently le skating a Superleggera, but it's it's a prototype. Yeah, you always have we prototypes. Yeah. Tested like the last a lot of things, things we tested on there. So take that's this. also special for me. Like yeah. this is a This is it is a prototype stage, but it is a fully finished skate. Um, so the special features, uh, I'm just going to run you through it. Yes. So it is the first quattro frame that is um, with a titanium nitride uh, coating. So um, it is straight out of the machining process. Uh, we didn't do any surfacing on it. We just took it to the um, analyzers and they yeah. basically put on a special coating that they just had delivered when we took those frames in. Um, the first idea was to keep it raw aluminium. Yeah. And then after, after seeing uh, more inspired by the racing, uh, yeah, I think it was inspired by Honda on the MotoGP bike, uh, bike where they had this color of coating. And then I did some research and there's a titanium nitrate coating on there. So uh, it is harder than the normal uh, anonizing coating. Yeah. And uh, we made it look still as raw as it uh, is possible. So It's crazy. Yeah. You can't even... You don't really get it as a color. You, uh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. It's a strange, right? Material yeah. Is it? yeah. And then it's like a bronze, but it's not a bronze. And then, yeah. It's, it's not a color, is it? Yeah. You, you see that yeah. there is something happening in the material, but yeah. you don't get the color. And it's even because that was also a point. Uh, yeah. And we, we like the black look. Yeah, yeah. And it looks. It's like a. Mechanical yeah, neutral. it's mechanical. Yeah, it's it like is, different. Yeah. It's, and it's crazy and it totally yeah. it's like the carbons. So the the other details on this skate is that uh, the lining is um, from uh, a ballistic nylon, which is also used in uh, race car seats. Okay. So we took that into the, the outer of the lining. 
Then we also took the ballistic nylon on the strap, as you can see on the, on the, the artwork. So a car, when it goes racing on the track, has a pull here, um, towing um, hook basically. And mostly with race cars, because it's lighter, they have a, a strap. Uh, okay, so front, front yeah, lip. yeah. So this is the inspiration for okay. this. Then, like all livery editions, they have uh, these are special parts only made for the livery edition. So it has the name FXX on there, whereas the other livery editions has LE livery edition. Yeah. So this is the only one with the FXX logo in there. Um, the strap is. Updated, it's the nylon, also ballistic nylon uh, strap, so it's way more durable. Um, the coating on these skates is there are about eight coats, uh, coatings where we resanded it, refinished, and then inside of the shell, that's inspired towards the line of the SPX. Um, so it, the bottom is black, yeah. and then you can see the clear carbon on the top where the pull here sign again goes into the, the, the lacquer yeah. um, to give that racing feel. Um, also, these are hand painted uh, in a natural base color gray um, because that's how the cars normally when you have the primer, it's a gray. Um, and then on the bottom <clears throat> of the skate, this is where it's different from any other uh, Superleggera. Um, we will take some detailed shots yeah. so you can see. But it's basically a fully hollowed out uh, bottom shell. So that has a, a sort of benefit to it. Um, it saves weight, not that much. Uh, I weighed the pieces that we cut out. It's about 20 grams in total. <clears throat> the cool thing is because of the way the Superleggera is built, it has a carbon insole and for this year we um, spent quite a lot of research into making a new insole yeah. and if you can look through the finish of the insole this is yeah. how it comes out okay. it's that rough um, yeah. it's very nice and I really like that idea of seeing this through the perfectly finished yeah. uh, shell because even on the Superleggera you can see the weave through the, the paint. Yeah. This is a, like an homage to like uh, the F40s where they would do that. Um, I didn't do it through the, through the paint, but like I left uh, a piece open here that you can see the carbon through the paint basically. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and another thing is because of the um, insole is uh, mounted inside with a absorption coating. Uh, that takes out all the vibrancies of like the carbon shell and the, the noise, especially. Um, yeah, you can uh, actually like it, it has, um, it's not closed, so the airflow can go in inside the boot. Um, and so. it really, like, it looks like an intake. Yes, intake. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> the idea, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the turbo, <clears throat> like, staying like a okay. Naturally, Naturally aspirated uh, frame, of course, yeah. not turbo, okay. not turbo. <laughs> no electric parts as well. <laughs> yeah, and it has the, um, that's something different from the ones you have. Uh, there's, everything is different, but um, the lining inside, it has a, a dual uh, compound. So it has uh, the up, is the, the, the rigid, more rigid compound. The middle piece is a gel compound, which is, should be more uh, comfortable around the ankle area. Awesome. And then the bottom again is a thinner uh, of the, the hard, the more rigid part, because you don't want to have movement. If yeah. you would do a softer on the ankle, okay. you would think you need, oh, I need, no, the more soft it is, the more movement you can have, uh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's, uh, what do you think about it? Like, how do you, how do you, what are your words for this skate? It's, it's almost, no, I, I don't want to say too perfect, but it is crazy because thinking about this raw, like, yeah. car and look, yeah. it is exactly that, but on a level. But still finished. Perfection yeah, yeah. And finished. And that, that's a crazy combination. That's like with the color and the materials, yeah. but also with all the details because it's so much details 
as you said. Yeah. That yeah, you can even experience. the FXX logo is paint. Every, every the logos are painted on these ones, yeah. um, and it's the same color than that comes back from these. Yeah. That's so you don't feel the. Yeah. Yeah. But the concept is, and also the material, like everything, like you said, the in, inside of the, like. It gives it a different vibe, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. I'm not sure like this is something we will pursue in the end because it was not yeah. easy to work with. So uh, all the, uh, the skate was of course like just a full on love project um, yeah. <clears throat> because it's also my personal skate. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to have something that resembles how we look at skating. Uh, and I think this is the way to go. This is how it should look. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it is. That's just what it is. It's crazy. And as you said, like eight layers of, in the end, to have it look like it's raw carbon, but yeah. perfectly finished. It's just, yeah. I think you have to sit down with another coffee, I think take so. your time, and yeah. to just experience like every single piece that you put in here. But it's it's crazy. It's a piece of art, like almost every skate. But the combination is crazy. And yeah, I think with these, it's for me, it's more <clears throat> freedom to give myself. Like it's all. It also makes it very difficult sometimes uh, yeah. because you can do so much. And what is the line between nice, looking good, and not tacky or yeah. or cheap? Yeah. Um, yeah, because you can make a shell like this look cheap if you want to. Right. <clears throat> so yeah, it's that and fine also line. Like yeah, 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 yeah. As and I that's said. why we changed uh, on the frame. Yeah. When I saw the the, the raw frame, I, I put it on the skate, and I, I wasn't really like it looked too much unfinished, you know. And it, yeah. not in a technical. We were not searching for again another yeah. another boundary like. <clears throat> it was like okay this is it comes out of the machine nice and it was a, like a shiny billet you know but uh, this was yeah that coating on it and uh. so yeah awesome hope you're happy with this cool. and uh, I would say we're probably gonna do some skating and um, this is exactly what I'm thinking about like I, I need to feel this because it's, yeah it's so yeah perfectly like it, it feels like that's it yeah so i need to test it yeah yeah for sure we're gonna go skating and uh we'll we'll do a heat mold and uh we'll let you explore how this feels and uh yeah i'm glad that now we have the exactly the same skate oh, yeah. and uh that's gonna be funny <clears throat> and then Rich is going to get his skates uh, shipped out soon. I had to wait until we did this. Um, and I'm going to heat mold, preheat mold for Rich because he once tried my personal skates and that's how much difference it makes. Um, I heat mold my skates like full on that they're really nice. Um, Rich didn't heat mold the SPX because he was afraid. And when we were there and uh, he was with us, we were skating. And I try, he wanted me to try on the SPX and I tried it on and I was like, yes, it feels like a brand new Superleggera with some pressure points. Yeah. And um, he said, yeah, I didn't heat mold it because he was afraid. And then I said, try on my skate because we have the same size. And he was blown away. Yeah. And I said, but this is also how the SPX should be uh, if it's properly heat molded. And yeah, just like any race car, it takes like two minutes to... Um, yeah, to shape to your foot every session basically, but it uh, after that it's like, yeah, another level. This definitely is another level. So, let's uh, get another coffee, I would but say, first, and uh, say, come on, let's do a hug, a bro hug. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm so much looking forward. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. New era. I'm glad we we can produce this sort of level. Like if, yeah. if I was a kid and I would see this in a shop. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I like and also in the process, I'm, I'm really happy that you just have the opportunity to go fully crazy. 
with yeah. every detail. Yeah. In the end, like you said, it doesn't make sense in the end. <laughs> doesn't make a lot of <laughs> sense. Yeah. Uh, I hope it was fun for you. I think that was very important also for me. That yeah. You enjoy the process. I did. I did. This. Yeah, yeah, I did. And then in the end. Yeah. It's here now. So let's, let's get some coffee and let's go skate. Right. <laughs>